Hey everyone, I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss, with your Pivot Boss closing report for March 16th, 2016. Here's a look at the ES in the daily time frame. Uh, we see that price continues to hold above the 2000 key level there. 2000 has been very important. I mentioned before, bulls want to defend that level and pullbacks into the pivot range for a shot at seeing a continuation higher. Uh, we also talked about before that uh, given the push into 1959 half, the previous month's high, and the rejection, our idea, our primary idea was for a push into 2025, that new target, and then a continuation into 2062, which is the 100% ADR monthly target. It's also an HVN at that level as well. So right now, the fact that we continue to push beyond the 1941 Q level, that's the midpoint of the August range, uh, pushing through that level, finding pullback opportunities has led, has led to a continuation higher. So far, that continues to be the case. I would say that any failure to hold below 2000s could lead to a return to 1941. But uh, as of right now, all pullbacks continue to be defended and uh, with sights set at perhaps seeing the next upside target above into 2060, the HVN. Now, if we take a look at the intraday time frame here, uh, one thing you'll notice about the intraday time frame here is that price basically formed... Uh, well, rallied right at the FOMC statement, right? So you had the FOMC statement that came out right at 1 p.m. Central. It's about right here. You can see FOMC 316. I mark it as uh, 2001 half. You can also see the flag right here, the vertical flag denoting the one o'clock open price. So that was 2001 half. Price immediately went bid. Price came back, pulled back to value at 2006.75, and then went. Uh, rallied into the 50% expansion target at 2022 20, half and basically closed the day just off that level. So that's kind of how this thing played out overall. Uh, so what we want to look for as we head into the upcoming session here is how's price going to respond around that level. So we have the key range here that we identified from 97 up to 2012. Uh, price basically shook away to the upside of that level and has the potential to see at least a push into 2026.75 with regards to that pattern. And then you obviously have the larger pattern from the ECB statement as well. Uh, that one's from back here. A push through 2022 20, half opens up the 100% target, which is 2044. So right now, this is the larger pattern to play from, and uh, we'll com continue to watch this as it develops. Overall, the fact that price pushed to the upside I would say a pullback into 2012 could, def uh, you know, identify an area for bulls to defend for continuation higher, and failure to hold this level opens up a rotation back down across the range. I still believe any pullback is likely to be a buying opportunity until proven otherwise. All right, taking a look at crude oil. This one had another squeeze here. We were watching 36s for a potential bounce, and you can see the bounce has been clean and powerful as price has uh, rallied to, you know, very close to 39. It's almost three full points off that 36 with a clean, powerful move. I mentioned before that the pattern of lower highs day over day needed to be broken and that we would be watching for a potential thrusting move through that previous high that could get us higher, and it certainly did. So overall, very, very solid strength out of this uh, contract. Uh, the initial idea was that since we reversed off the bottom, we're going to the midpoint. If we push to the midpoint, then look for a push across the range. So right now, 4050 continues to be the primary target to the upside. Uh, any failure to hold above 38s could signal an early rotation back into 36s. Again, 36s is a key LVN. Bulls need to defend that zone. Here's the intraday time frame. You can see how it played out. Uh, remember, we were talking about 36s being the important area to defend. Price came right into it and has since launched back to five-day VPOC. And that's what we were expecting. I talked about before, since price went off right here, price discovery phase re rejected off 36s. You can watch this thing walk it all the way back up, and it certainly did. Now we have to see how price responds from here. Uh, we have you know, went from acceptance to rejection, then rejection back to acceptance. Overall, pulling back into 37.97. Bulls want to defend that area for a continuation. Failure to hold it opens up a return back toward 36. Here's uh, gold. Right now, gold had a massive rally out of that 
out of that tightly coiled range. It actually rallied up here into 1263.90, so this isn't a, a real bar here. We'll actually drop into the lower time frame. This is what it looks like. What we were looking at before was how tightly coiled this range was. And I mentioned that this tightly coiled price action opens the door to a massive breakout opportunity. I said we were coiling up within perfect levels because we had the 12, 27, 70 key level here, and we had the previous week's low here. I mentioned a breakout from that level sparks the next key move. We got the break to the upside here, and price trended all the way back to the top of the initial key range, 1263.90, hitting our target in the process here for the day. So this is a big time, big time move. You'll also notice that I do also have uh, the Fed announcement key level here marked. That's 1230.8, right at one o'clock. Big time rally in, away from that level. So the expectation would be that if price rejects up top, you would see a likely pullback into that level for a retest into 1230.8. Uh, uh, so let's see how this thing also plays out heading into the upcoming session. Taking a look here at the NQ now. This one has not been at all that uh, pretty to, to watch here. Uh, the pullback into this zone right here was bid up. We were actually looking for a move into 4200 to 4188 for a bounce. Price got into 4220 and bounced instead. And since then has gone into the 25% uh, expansion of this key range. So this is going to be important here. Typically speaking, hitting 4412 would open up a return back to 4300, the top of the key range, at which point bulls would want to defend for a squeeze into 4523. Failure to hold on a retest of 4300 opens up a return back toward 4076. So this is what I'm looking at as we head into the upcoming weeks here. Here's the NQ in a lower time frame here. Uh, what you see is that we have uh, the FOMC number right here. That's 4359 quarter. Again, that's the open price right at 1 o'clock, right ahead of the statement. And uh, and price rallied away from that level. A pullback was defended at v VWAP, and then we continued higher into 4400. 4400 was rejected, at least initially, and price closed back below that zone. Uh, but right now, 4368 is the important level to watch. That was resistance, resistance, resistance. It pushed through it and made it support. So a return to that area, bulls want to defend it. Failure to hold that level opens up a big time return to 43.30 with a shot at retesting 4300, which is going to be that important level to watch. So we'll see how this develops as we head into Thursday's trading. All right, that's it for now. Good luck and trade well.